Good morning. This is the voice of Susan Bizzle, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning here in Southern California, August the 27th, the year of 2020. Wow. This month and this year seems to have gone by so quick. And here we've been in social distancing ever since March. And it seemed at first like everything was so slow. But now, oh my goodness, time has just gone by so fast. I'm out this morning doing my morning walk. And I just want to talk briefly, give you some food for thought today. I like to use parables. Jesus taught using parables. He gave, he taught them in their time. He used a lot about sheep and farming because that's what was relevant in their day. We live in a technology age and movies and so i want to talk to you today from the from the subject of what gifts do you have because the lord let us know in the book of ephesian in chapter four that paul is writing letting us know that jesus the one that ascended and descended is the one that gave us gifts. And he gave gifts to men. Amen. Some apostles, some prophets, some pastors, evangelists, and teachers. Glory to God. And we know that when we get born again, we know that Jesus and God, his father and our father, comes into us and makes their abode. And so we know that the Holy Spirit, we received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we know that the Holy Spirit has fruit and fruit begins to develop in us. Amen. Talking about the love, the joy, the patience, the happiness, the, the self-control. Talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. That, that, that makes us and forms our nature, our new nature. Hallelujah. Because we are new creatures in Christ. So I want to talk under the about the movie The Wizard of Oz. In the movie The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy is swept away through a tornado to a strange land. And she meets, she gets this device, uh, She's trying to figure out how to get back home. And so, the first thing that happens is her house lands and kills the evil witch. And she gets the red magical shoes. And she's trying to find her way back home. And so, she's getting all this advice to follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. So she meets all of these, she has all of these different encounters with the people that live in that, in that strange land. So she meets the scarecrow who was created and stuffed with straw to scare away the crows and the birds from eating the, 
eating the fruit in the field, eating up the harvest. And the scarecrow, he wants a brain. So Dorothy lets him know, well, I'm going to the wizard. Maybe he can give you a brain. And so, good morning, ladies. So the scarecrow joins and she meets the tin man and the tin man is all rusted up where he's been sitting out in the rain and then got rusty and she puts some, she oils him down and he says that he would be all of this stuff if he only had a heart. And so she tells him, come and go with us to see the Wizard of Oz. Maybe he can give you a heart. Then they run into the cowardly lion and he says, oh, he could do this and that if he only had courage. So they talk him into coming on their trip, following the yellow brick road to go see the Wizard of Oz. They encounter all of these different things. The evil witch wants Dorothy and her little dog Toto. She wants the red shoes because Dorothy has on the red shoes but she doesn't know the power that's in the shoes. To make a long story straight, they go through all of these things with the evil flying monkeys and all of these adventures and they fight for one another. And when they get to the, finally make it to the Emerald City, they find out that the, the Wizard of Oz is just a hoax. But he tells them through their adventures, you already have a brain, Scarecrow. He tells the tin man, you already have a heart. The cowardly lion. Look how much courage you already demonstrated on this journey to come and see me, to ask me to give you what you already had. Amen. Dorothy, you, you have on the red shoes. All you gotta do is click them together. She clicked them shoes together. There's no place like home. Because if we use the parables, you can get a visual, because many people have seen that movie. They remade, they remade it. Michael Jackson and Donna Ross them. The Wiz. You, they went uh, and they were looking for what they already had. But they didn't know what was in them until they got put to the test. And when they got put to the test, they found out what was in them. Isn't that how we are? We have all of these gifts. We have all of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We got all of this power. We got all of this wisdom. We got all of this stuff. Everything we need, we have. And we don't know it sometimes. But on this journey of life, we find out what we got. A lot of stuff we asking God for, and we already have it. Glory be to God. That's why he sends the prophets to us. Glory be to God. They begin to point things out to us. Glory to God. He gave us the fivefold ministry. Perfecting, equipping the saints. Hallelujah. How to use your gifts. How to identify your gifts. Ain't that all right today? 
Amen. Just take a little time. And I encourage you to just sit down and get quiet and just get you a piece of paper and start writing. Write down your assets. The world tell you your, your, your uh, liabilities, but write down who you are. What's your gifts? Realize what it is that you do that make you happy today. Hallelujah. Because we're going to need all hands on deck for this reconstruction that's going to take place. This is the revolution of 2020. If you're wondering what's going on. Hallelujah. We can't stay the same. Good morning. Recognizing how great you are. Amen. It's already in you. I was sharing with people. Yeah, they burned Black Wall Street. They burned the they burned the physical Wall Street, Black Wall Street. But I am what Black Wall Street. Come on. I got it in my womb. And I birth wealth. You birth wealth. Glory be to God. And can't nobody take that unless I lay it down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We got it in us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And one thing about, I learned from Prophetess Juanita Bonham years ago. If you did it one time, then you can do it again. Cause it's already in you. And if you could create it one time, you got the power in you to do it again. So if you have lost your home in foreclosure during this time, you may have had your car repossessed. Hallelujah. You may have leftovers today, but you know what my mother used to do? She used to put them together and make a stew. Uh-huh. Reuse, your, use what you got. Use it all. And she will put together a stew. As you will call it, a potluck. Amen. Do you know what you got today? Take some time this week. And do self-evaluation. Amen. I can sing. I like to write. I like to dance. I like to organize stuff. Uh-huh. What is your gifts? Because you know when your gifts make room for you. The Holy Spirit was given unto you to prosper. Jesus gave you gifts from on high. You have all of these weapons that are not carnal, but mighty through God. Hallelujah. Use your gifts. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. On this journey, you're going to find out there's what you're looking for. A lot of times, looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for somebody to prophesy to you. Hallelujah. When you got all of that already in you. This is Susan Bizzle, August the 27th, the year 2020. What's in you? Time for self-reflection and self-discovery and self-love. Remember, you deserve some of your own love. Have a blessed day, and we'll be talking again later. Hallelujah. But I want you to remember that they went on that journey of self-discovery and they found out that everything that they wanted to get from the Wizard of Oz, who was not even really a wizard, but he was wise because he could look at them and show them what they already had. Amen. And today, look in that mirror 
Hallelujah. I am wise. I do have a big heart. I do have a brain. Hallelujah. I am Black Wall Street. I am Dr. Martin Luther King. Glory be to God. Because he was just a person. But that mantle and that spirit and the things that he stood for. Hallelujah. I stand for. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I am Rosa Parks. Glory be to God. Because they said, Hallelujah, in Antioch, they started calling. The, they started calling. They, uh, they started calling the believers Christians. They looking for somebody. Let me mosey aside on the other road. The helicopter's in the air. See it? The police is just riding and just at full speed, stopping and they looking for somebody. So I think it's best if I just get off the street this morning. Glory be to God. They over there now got the road blocked off. And they looking for somebody this morning here in Southern California. August the 27th, 2020. Glory be to God. And I just thank God today. Because you looking for something that you already have. Be blessed. God love you. And may heaven smile upon you. Amen.